Labeling rooms and placing room tags in Revit is uh, really easy. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind is when you're placing a tag in a room, uh, what you're actually doing is you're defining that space as a room uh, and you're giving Revit the information it needs to be able to, to go ahead and plug that into a schedule. So to start out, go to the tool trays uh, on the left, uh, choose the room and area tray and the room tool. As you hover over a space, Revit will automatically try to define that space by its walls. You can click to place the tag and you can keep moving down the line. Um, Revit will try to line up those labels as you go and it will change the room tag number automatically so that you're never duplicating a room tag number in the same project. And hit escape a couple times to get out of the room tool. I'll zoom in on one of the tags and if I click on it, and then click again, I should be able to change the name of the, the room tag. And um, it's probably best to go ahead and change these as soon as you define them. Uh, it just makes things a little easier uh, as you're going through the project. I'm going to change all these room tag names, so I'll just fast forward through this for now. Okay, once uh, you've named all your room tags, um, you can go ahead and go in and since it's actually an individual family, uh, you can actually swap it out for a different room tag type. And if you started the project with an OPN template, you should be able to go up to the options bar, pull down uh, the type selector, and change it to a type that gives you a square footage that's automatically generated from that room also. Uh, and you can uh, change all these out. One tip, uh, if you want to select a bunch of the same type of element, is if you choose the element, and use the shortcut letters SA um, that stands for select all it should choose all of the same type and that works for uh, just about any kind of element in Revit and you can go up in the options bar and pull down tag with area and it, it changes them all there may be an instance in uh, the project where you need to define a space that isn't um, bordered by walls <coughs> and to do this um, you need to draw that space out uh, and define that for Revit. So the tool to use for this is the Room Separation tool. You can choose this in the tool tray to the left under Room and Area, Room Separation. Uh, you're going to draw it out with lines. So go up to the Options bar. I'm going to choose the Rectangle tool to draw this out quickly. Um, choose a point. Choose another point. And I hit Escape a couple times. That should create a room area where I can now choose the room tool um, and drop in a room tag for that area. And hit escape a couple times, and I should be able to change that. When changing these room tags, you can also change the number of the room tag um, in the same way. You can actually just swap it out uh, right there. One last thing to keep in mind um, with uh, dropping room tags in rooms is if you ever delete one, Revit will pop up a warning window telling you that the tag was deleted but that the room is still there. Um, Revit keeps that information. You can go ahead and close out of that window. If you want to add a tag later to that room, you can go to the tool tray, choose room tag, hover over the area, and it will automatically um, put in the, the correct information for that room um, from the information that uh, has already been defined for it and just click to place that tag hit escape. Um, if you wanted to uh, actually change uh, the definition of that room um, you not only have to delete the tag close the window but then also hover over the room uh, grab it and delete the room as well uh, it will also pop up a warning uh, telling you uh, that that's happening